2021 to 331 2021. So um, we got 15 calls from that direct mail piece. So all of these leads that you see that came in just the last month and you know over the last year it's been grow your cleaning business, make more money, have more time. This is the Profit Cleaners podcast with your hosts Brandon Condry and Brandon Shane. Hey guys, Brandon Shane with the Profit Cleaners and uh, just today I want to go over a quick insight on marketing and how you might be marketing your service business, your cleaning business. And the question is, does direct mail, traditional old school advertising still work? And the answer is yes, it definitely still works. It might be something you want to try out. And if you stay tuned to the uh, end of this video, I'm also going to share with you guys not only our exact uh, direct mail marketing copy and what we're using, but also going to share with you a cool strategy on how to get this all absolutely for free. Um, so here's our direct mail piece. This is one of them um, that we've used recently. Um, and essentially, as you can see, it's a well-designed, basically a direct mail, uh, kind of like a postcard, right? Um, so the difference being that this piece of direct mail is going out in a deck of other kind of postcards that are all geared towards super high-end homes. So here in Albuquerque, that's whatever the, there's a certain home value and anything above that is where this specific company that we work for, which is called RSVP. And this company is national, I believe. So you can probably find them in your area. They're kind of like a franchise. So there's a, a local franchisor in your area. That's who we work with is Dave, the local guy in our area. And um, essentially you, they'll, they'll either design something like this for you or you can get your own designer, find somebody on uh, Upwork or somewhere like that, find a freelancer um, that will actually design this for you. So as you can see, just, you know, if you were to get this postcard in the mail as a, as a person, as a customer, potential customer, um, we have an offer. This is called an offer, which means that outside of our normal services, like if you just go to our website, you can't find this offer. This is special to the market that got this actual mailed out to them. So um, as you can see, schedule your first clean, get $75 off. You don't always have to use a discount in your offer. It's not always the best strategy, but we've found it to work well um, in our market. So something that's attention getting that incentivizes people to take action right away, right? So this has worked pretty well for us. Um, and then we use certain verbiage that's very much in line with people's mindset right now, which is they want peace of mind. They want to be reassured that we're taking the right precautions to keep them and their, and their family safe. Um, so disinfect your home for the health of you and your family. We're locally owned and operated. Local is always really a big keyword. People love local. And so play that card, you know, call, um, call yourself out if you're local. Um, essential business. So we were classified as an essential business recently or last year when the pandemic started. So, um, and then, yeah, as you can see, just the, the, the copy is really important guys. Um, you want to have an attention getting headline. You want to have bullets and other benefits. And then on the back of the postcard, it, what makes us different, right? Professional cleaning systems that ensure we never miss a thing. Trustworthy quality that is dependable, licensed, insured. Trust is a huge factor, especially when you have people coming into your home. So make sure you're saying something along those lines. We have non-toxic green products that are safe for family and pets. That's our core audience. Um, so you want to speak to that, right? Uh, if, if you're a parent, you don't want someone coming in your home and spilling bleach all over the place and, you know, potentially getting chemicals and stuff your kids will touch on their hands. So, um, giving back to the local community, that's one of our, that's our give back. That's our purpose and our cause. Highly encourage you guys to do that, uh, do something like that and you can integrate it into your marketing as well. Um, dependable, reliable teams get paid a living wage and bonuses. So people feel really good about how we treat our, t our people and our teams. And that reflects in their work and the job they do attention to detail, all sorts of things. So you want to have a call to action in addition to your offer. So the call to action here is we offer bi-weekly, weekly, weekly uh, cleans, monthly cleans that cost you'll love. We don't say affordable because we don't want people to think that we're the most, we're, we're not cheap. That's for sure. Um, call to schedule your free estimate today. There's the call to action. This phone number uh, is actually tracked. So you want to make sure you're tracking your marketing. Same with this um, website. Okay. So when people actually call us, the beauty of this system is we get a little report. I'm going to move this over. Um, at the end of every month, and this is our call tracking report, 
It's obviously going to look different depending on which company you're working with. So uh, this is just from 3 1 2021 to 3 31 2021. So um, we got 15 calls from that direct mail piece. And you can actually see um, when, you know, what days they came in, what times they came in, things like that. Even so much down to we actually have a report of the, the caller. I can click this little thing here and I can listen to the phone conversation. I'm not going to bore you guys with those details, but it is pretty cool. If you are working with a direct mail company, you want to be sure that you can see the tracking on the back end like this. You can actually listen to the phone calls that maybe they're, cause they're charging you for this. Right. And so you want to make sure you're getting the value for your investment and, and, um, also know, you know, how many people are, let me actually pause this for a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry, somebody just was setting the alarm on me at the office here. Um, so um, as you can see, it's a pretty comprehensive report. It's a great way to track your leads. So you want to make sure you're tracking your marketing. There's something we always say in marketing. It's if you're not measuring whatever you're measuring, you can improve. If you're not measuring something, you're not tracking something, you can improve it, right? So you need to make sure that you can, you can improve this or at least see what kind of uh, results you're getting. So, you know, it, in general, you know, if I would say in, in a month time frame, you get 15 calls. Now, maybe not every single one of these actually converts to a customer, um, but, but you want to track that too. Um, and I have our, our office staff tracking that. So we, I don't actually have that number in front of me, but in the past when we've done this, it's definitely worth it. The return on investment. Now here's the thing, guys, this is kind of the, the secret sauce here at the end. Um, if you can do this with any of your marketing, this is going to be huge. Okay. This is how you can essentially get free marketing, free advertising, free leads, free new customers. And the way you do that is you got to get a little bit creative, think outside the box a little bit, do stuff that maybe is a little bit unreasonable, do stuff that people, other people won't do. And one of those things is simply bartering. Okay. So all of these leads that you see that came in just the last month and you know, over the last year, it's been hundreds of people absolutely free. How did we do that with direct mail advertising? All we did was we bartered. We actually cleaned the house of the owner of this franchise locally of RSVP. And what we did is they came in and advertised to us. They came in and did a presentation in our office a couple of years ago. They said how our service would be a, an awesome fit for what they're offering and sending out to the market because there's, you know, it's a perfect fit for the higher end audiences, the higher end houses that have money to afford paying for a service like this every couple of weeks or something. So we just said, Hey, well, how about, well, why don't we just clean your house? Do you have a cleaner clean in your house right now? Let us clean your house. And in exchange, we actually clean the owner's house every week. They have a huge house. It's like 4,000 some square feet. It's a big house. Normally it would cost a lot of money to do that, right? Hundreds of dollars every time to clean that house. However, we clean it every week. And in exchange for doing so, we cover the entire contract of what it would cost to send out our direct mail pieces, right? So, um, obviously guys, this isn't going to work for everyone. You have to kind of find somebody who's willing to trade with you and, and barter with you. Um, but I will be honest that it's actually quite easy. If you, if you just put yourself out there and you talk to people, um, people more than ever are, are looking to do this kind of stuff. So, um, again, guys, this is, this is, you know, it's kind of a two part video here, but First of all, does the direct mail stuff work? Absolutely, it still works. Does it work as well as some of our other advertising like Google ads, Facebook ads, doing search engine optimization, optimizing your maps and getting that presence? Um, I would say not really. It's not quite as effective. Maybe 10 or 20 or 30 years ago, direct mail was hugely effective, right? Because it's one of the more traditional forms of advertising along with TV, radio, those kind of things. However, it's not always the most effective. Um, and especially in a, in a, in a kind of a uncertain economy, I wouldn't always recommend marketing like this, you know, billboards and things that have a pretty high output, but not always, it's more branding in a lot of ways. Um, you could look at direct mail as branding as well, because these same people are getting these postcards sent to their house every few months. I think it's on a, a deck every quarter that these come out. So it's repeated exposure. If you're going to do any type of advertising ever in general, you need to be doing it 
for a consistent period of time. So you're not going to really know if it works unless you're consistently trying it out. So when somebody gives you a quote for any type of advertising, even direct mail, don't look at it on a monthly basis. Look at it on a annual basis, okay? Because you want to you wanna invest for the long term. And if you're going to do it, you need to stick with it for it to work. Oftentimes with the direct mail, stuff like this, we, we oftentimes we'll have people that put this on the refrigerator and call us in six months. They don't always need it right then and there. So this is also a long-term play because as we said, um, even in the very, very beginning when we did door hangers and things like that, we got calls six months, a year later from door hangers. We did the very first summer we were in, we were in business. And that's again, just because people will stick it on their fridge with a magnet and they'll forget about it until they need it. And so again, you have to think big picture long-term and I would highly encourage you guys to, you know, not, not put all your eggs in one basket, diversify, do a little bit of direct mail and traditional advertising, maybe mix in some, some new media strategies, some Google ads, some Facebook ads, some next door ads, some, some of these other channels that your customers are hanging out on and, um, kind of mix it up, right? Don't, don't just do one thing or, um, and if you are going to try a strategy, do it longer than a month. Okay. Because not only is that going to help your, your results, but people are going to get that added exposure, that repeated exposure to your brand which in marketing advertising, they, they typically say it's like seven times that somebody needs to see your marketing message in order to even hear what you're saying and even to order to recognize even that you're offering them something as crazy as that sounds, people are very distracted. So, um, you gotta kind of play into that mindset and, and know that people aren't always going to take your offer the first time. So anyways, guys, um, I hope this helps. Um, I would highly recommend you test out some direct mail. Um, I wouldn't recommend you do, there's some direct mailings companies that kind of just blanket entire cities and they don't really target certain demographics. I would really recommend you look at a company like RSVP that has a specific set of zip codes and demographics that they target. And if you're in a local service or specifically a cleaning business, you want to target the, the higher end customers, bottom line. Those are the people that are going to want recurring services. They're going to pay for a weekly, a biweekly, a monthly service, and they're not even going to bat an eye because they have a nice house. They want to maintain that house. And so if you're going to do direct mail, focus on those people. Uh, obviously, if you're doing other forms of advertising like Facebook and, and Nextdoor, you can target right down into the zip codes and neighborhoods you want. So that's another way to do it. Um, but yeah, is the, I guess to answer you guys question, direct mail, it still works. It's still alive and well. And you know, if you put a dollar number on every one of these customers that came in, which we do, our average customer is worth anywhere from three to $5,000 a year based on the consistency and the frequency of their uh, service. So if, if they're every two weeks, they're going to be closer to that $5,000 value range for the year. And if they're only every month, maybe closer to two or $3,000, depending on their square footage and all that. So, um, but if you just look at this guys, you know, if we didn't trade this, if we actually paid for these, uh, direct mail pieces, we would, um, be paying, I, I don't know what exactly the contract was, but it's, you know, it's over a thousand dollars a month. Okay. Call it $1,200 a month or something. If you're going to actually pay for this stuff, um, without trading for it. But if you just look at the number of calls that came in, and I don't have the exact number on the conversions, but if they're calling, they're probably scheduling an appointment. They're most likely these people are becoming customers. Okay. Um, so we can go in and listen to those conversations with our staff and see how they did. But let's say even, uh, out of 15 people, let's say, you know, maybe three or maybe five people actually became real customers. If each one of those customers is worth three or $5,000, well, that does, does it make sense to spend approximately a thousand dollars a month to create 20,000 or $30,000 of new business. Absolutely. Right. Uh, would you put in a dollar to get out $5 and how many times would you keep doing that? Right. So that's what it comes down to guys. When you, once you know your numbers and you're tracking this stuff, you can look at the reports and the analytics and the, the results of your campaigns like this. Um, and you can determine if it's worth it moving forward. And so we've continued to, to determine with the direct mail that, you know, if, if we weren't trading for it, it would still be worth it, but it's just so much nicer to pay $0 for your advertising, um, for simply providing a service you're already doing. So yeah, technically it's costing us a little bit of time in the labor, right? But it's significantly less than what we'd be paying if we just paid the cash and, um, it's a great trade. 
Okay. Um, so um, this is a great way to, for you guys to expand your, your marketing, expand your business, think a little bit outside the box. You don't always have to pay for your marketing. Okay. You can get creative, you can trade for it. And um, again, direct mail works. So try testing it out in your market guys. Try focusing on the higher end demographics. And I think you guys will see a lot of success. So hope that helps guys and go out there, get some new customers, grow your business and uh, just keep hitting the ground running. So until next time, keep it clean. We'll